this video, you will learn to connect the SolarEdge load controller contacts to a contactor that controls an appliance. Before we start, let's have a look at what we have inside the controller package. The package contains the SolarEdge home load controller, DIN rail adapter, two screws for the DIN rail adapter, two screws for the wall mounting, double-sided tape, cable rubbers, and the quick installation guide QR code. The controller has three mounting options. When mounting the controller on a surface, remove the cover and secure the unit to the surface using two screws. The controller can also be attached to a flat vertical surface using double-sided tape, or be connected by two screws to a DIN rail adapter and snapped to a DIN rail. The controller has two wiring options. The first option is to route wires from the top and bottom of the controller. Use the cable rubbers only if the cable diameter equals or is up to 4 millimeters. The second option is to route wires through the back of the controller by knocking out the two access panels. Let's identify some of the components and wiring that need to be connected before wiring the load controller. Connect a circuit breaker to the line and neutral inputs of the controller. Connect wires between the circuit breaker, normally open terminals of the controller, and the A1 terminal of the contactor. Optionally, the normally closed terminals can be connected. Connect a neutral wire between the circuit breaker and the A2 terminal of the contactor. Secure the wires inside the controller and snap the controller cover in place. Now you can control any of the appliances connected to the contactor. Switch on the circuit breaker to power the controller and run SetApp to connect to the inverter. When the controller is successfully detected and added, configure the rated power and the minimum operation time of the controlled appliance. For more configuration options for the load controller, refer to the Monitoring or My Solar Edge applications.